Good morning from London, from rainy, from rainy. Sunny London, <laughs> UK. We're in London and we're here for Easter weekend because it's my sister's birthday and it's a bank holiday. And also I came up yesterday to visit Blue and Innie, which by the way, I thought I'd say this, um, we're hosting a meetup. So announcement, <laughs> we are hosting a meetup on the 21st of April at Box Park in Shoreditch in London. And it's gonna be me, Blue Ollis, and Immy from Sustainably Vegan, and Alex will be there. So if you are in- I'm the real attraction. <laughs> if you're from the UK, if you live in London, we'd absolutely love you to come. It's at four, sorry, no, 2 p.m., not 4 p.m. And there is a Facebook event down below for all the information. So check that out, or if you don't have Facebook, then just let me know in the comments that you're coming. We would love to see you and yeah, I'm so excited book your to plane meet you. tickets now. But actually someone's <laughs> literally just messaged me saying they're gonna book a plane ticket. Well, which is incredible. Why am I having to duck so much? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've never hosted a meetup and it's great to be doing it with those girls because they're awesome and it makes it a little bit less nerve-wracking because it can be a bit nerve-wracking holding a meetup because you're like, is anyone gonna come? Like, what do I say? <laughs> so, um, I guess it's just the same as if you're going to meet up, it's quite nerve wracking. Now we're heading into uh, Covent Garden to meet my parents, and we are gonna go to Buy Chloe, which has just opened. It's a plant based or vegan restaurant here, and it's from, the, from LA. They have a restaurant in LA, and they've recently opened one in London, so I'm so excited. Is that their first? The first one in the UK. Yeah, yeah, and it's like a proper like I think it's like casual like American food like hot dogs, burgers, that type of thing. Yeah. And it's yeah. like looks really cool for Instagram, so we're going to get some good pictures. But we're going to go now because it's really loud. going to buy Chloe but it was packed which is great it's a vegan place but um, we had to wait and we were a bit it's kind of like a system where you order at the bar and then you have to kind of scram for a table or wait with your food for a table so um, around the corner is a place called farm stand that has like a whole vegan menu if you're in Covent Garden um, which is great so I've just got some jackfruit rice and broccoli so it's like a salad bar thing but it's really clearly labeled so you can see everything and yeah it looks really good Portrait Gallery. My fault, I just ran in without looking. I thought they were the same, like connected together, but they're not. No. So now we are here. It's very busy in here. Maddie's in heaven. I am in heaven then. I want Alex to take me to Venice. It's my dream, and I literally came in here and got a bit teary eyed looking at the painting. I know that's really lame, but like, yeah. I literally feel like, I don't know if any of you have this feeling where you feel drawn to a place. I studied it all throughout my art history. Why are you history. moving when I'm sure? I don't know. I studied it all throughout my art history degree, Venice, all Venetian art, and I just feel so drawn to it, and we have to go there. Yeah. Well, the thing about paintings is, if you've got a nice camera, oh, God. if you've got a 4K camera, enough gallery it's very busy so we're gonna go have a cup of tea and I think go home but I might need to do a little bit of sneaky shopping so we've just separated ourselves from the group 
weren't allowed to film in the gallery. We're naughty. But we're um, doing a little bit of last minute shopping because we came up to London earlier than expected. Um, we've got to get a couple bits for my sister for her birthday. So we're just in here because we were going to do it the day we ended up coming up to London early. Um, we didn't get a chance. So we are here now and here Chase and there's so much cute stuff. Oh, that would have been your dream a few years ago. I know. I was obsessed with Hello Kitty. iPhone 7. Only in an ironic way. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah sure. Look. It was totally unironic. Nope. <laughs> oh, you could have had that for like work. That would have been so good. I love how Hella Kitty's still going. <laughs> okay, so we've had a very successful shopping trip. Got everything we needed. And now we're just around the corner from Covent Garden, so we're just going to walk down here towards the underground. We said to go to Charing Cross. Well, we can do either, can't we? Chow for the car. Well, I kind of like Covent Garden because it's pretty, so I want to go stand there. Not stand there, you know what I mean, go look. Stand there. Show you lot if you don't live in London, then it might be kind of nice to see. So we've got a new lens, I'm so excited about. It's not the new camera yet, the new camera's arriving on, but it's arrived back yeah. in Hove. Um, Just after we left, it arrived. But my friend Immy, sustainably vegan, who I'm having the meetup with, I was talking to her about cameras because she, she knows so much about photography, she's a photographer and um, I was telling her that I wanted this lens and then we were chatting about it and then she was like, hey, I think I have that lens and she went home and she did, so she sold this to me, so it's such a good, it's like, I feel like law of attraction, like a weird, like, I don't know, what do you call it? Coincidence. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I've got it for half the price um, that it would be brand new, so including the ATD. I don't know if I've said, have I said? I've bought an ATD, um, Canon ATD. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I bought one on eBay and we got it for £668 as opposed to what, 900 and something? Or brand new? Yeah. So t in I'll total, check, I'll check those figures. I've saved about £500. So I really advocate you guys, if you, any of you are gonna be like buying a new camera or any sort of equipment, any gadgets, get it second hand. So we've got the G7X, both of them second hand and now my new setup. Um, and we saved like 500 quid. It would have been about 1,300 pounds in total. And we got it for like 800. So yep. yeah, so it's super worthwhile. You've got to be careful. Um, like the eBay seller that we uh, chose had 100% and like maybe 11,000, 10,000 10, 10, yeah. sales. So he was obviously someone to go for. And he, I think he has a shop in London. Where he, sells, where he sells like secondhand cameras. So um, yeah, it made sense. And yeah. I'm playing around with it now with my 1200D. We just got some pictures yeah. of Instagram. It's really fun. Yeah, it's so cool because it like it's a proper zoom lens, and um, it's just going to re-up the quality of my food videos. I'm really excited to test it out next week when we get home with the HD. Oh, I cannot wait! But now uh, we're well, heading I'm home. Nice. Now we're heading home. Oh man! Wow. Right. It's not raining. At least reach your hand into my sack. When we were in the shop earlier, one of the shops. Your mum was chatting about Chiang Mai in Thailand for some reason, I can't remember why. And then she mentioned that we'd cycled up Doisetep, the mountain there. And then he came over to us and started talking and he was saying, oh, it's hard enough on the moped I hired. And he was like, you guys, you cycled up it? And we were like, like every day and he was yeah. like, what? Yeah, thank you. I'm not sure how it came up. I think he mentioned that he just got back from Chiang Mai. Yeah, I know he had a house there. Yeah, and yeah. she was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, yes, I did cycle it, thank you. <laughs> you know, I told you when I went to get travel money, just before we went to Thailand in St. Austell, and there was a lady from Chiang Rai, I think the, the province in Northern Thailand, and I said, oh yeah, I'm going to Thailand, I'm gonna cycle my bike up the mountain. And she's like, no, you can't do that, it's impossible. <laughs> And I always wanted to go back and like see if she still worked there and tell her what I did and show her pictures. <laughs> she was I did friendly. it, I did it, yeah. I swear. Because I went in there a few times, she was quite friendly. Um, but I never went back to St. Austell, so one day, maybe, one day. I'll meet her again. <laughs>
It's something unpredictable In the end it's right I hope you have the time of your life It's pizza time! Is mine coming with rocket already? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so good. Alex has the non-gluten free, so he's a square. Yeah, so I get mine circular. Like a little bit more in the corners. <laughs> because normally okay. there are a whole meter of pizza. Tom, can you bring huh? That's, Half a meter. This is a quarter meter. Oh, okay. So it's Fereza. Fereza, where is it? Fereza. Fereza. And it's a vegan. Is it vegan? Vegan chorizo? Yeah, and cheese. Mm. So Alex is making drinks for everyone because my sister has all these cocktail devices. What are you making now? I'm just. <laughs> are you crushing ice? Just preparing the the ice. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. So Ooh, Charlie's got this beautiful set yeah. of cocktail shaker and these amazing glasses. Sorry, I just burped. Look at these glasses, they're like rainbow. Oh, it's because I have a ginger beer. One second. Oh my god, you're insane. Right, now I'm making so a... So what have you got? Contro, Hendrix for... gin. No, that was for... Charlie's making a margarita with those. Bacardi. What are you making now? I'm making a mojito. A mojito? What goes into a mojito? Mint. Are you making yourself a small one? Uh, well, that was the mini glass left. So what's what's in here now? Sugar? No, sorry, I'm being stupid. Where's the lime? You're being a stupid. Sugar, mint. It's, I feel like it needs more mint. Is that it? That's all the mint there is. Oh, okay. For now, I don't mind. Can everyone say what they think this looks like? A giant golden <laughs> muddler. <laughs> lime. Limon. Lim. Limmy. Mojito. <laughs> Why did you miss that? I don't know. Hello. Blanc. Grab your dildo. <laughs> oh no, it's got a sticker on it. <laughs> I don't like stickers. Is it going to look like this in the end? Yeah, pretty much. Then the ice. And then what, ginger beer or soda water? Or? Rum, unless you want a virgin. Pop about. A double in there, and then I might give that a little mix up. There's no precise way of doing it. I just kind of I like mojitos when I used to work it behind the bar because it's just kind of chuck everything in, smush it together. Alex used to be a bartender. Not a very good one. And then it's kind of just top it up. I mean, you probably put more ice in than that. One. Oh, there's no mint to top it with. Here we are. <laughs> Beautiful. 